This is a Edouard Vuillard painting from the Met Museum, uh, part of the selection of paintings called the album. Um, these are primarily decorative works, but I, I just I think these are fantastic. He's he's really grabbing a hold of the impressionist language of um, like a series of dots and contrasting color in an area to to make a detail or pattern um, or like a sense of light. But he's he's applying it to pattern in a way that. Uh, nobody really had before him and he's like hiding all this stuff in his painting he has this bouquet of flowers right here um, and the bouquet just just melts into the pattern of of the women around them um, and at certain points it's hard to tell whether you're seeing leaves or um, blouses or tablecloth uh, it's really fun um, it keeps your eye moving around. Um, this one, he's like particular handles the the faces fairly gently. Um, he really like lovingly paints the faces on these ladies. Um, it's a bit of a larger painting for Vuillard, so that might be part of it. But he still gives most of the action of the painting to non-figurative elements. The the um, I always like to look at the point of highest contrast in a Vuillard painting. Um, you have like a little bit right here. Um, this ends up being repeated, this kind of dark alizarin color next to a sort of a creamy white um, bounces around. You have a bigger central contrast with that happening with this kind of creamy white skirt against, I don't, I don't know. If this was painted today, that would be a MacBook, a MacBook Pro, but back then maybe they're looking at an album of some kind, um, which would give you the title of the painting. <laughs> um, I feel real proud of myself. I love those suspenders. Look how dark those are. But it's really not an important part of the painting, but it helps set up this repeated pattern of stripes across the painting. Um, you get stripes, 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 lots of dots, dots, dots. The whole painting is, um, is like a kind of alizarin red, a little bit of cream, and then the green is just a gray kind of blobby, really lazy green. Um, it gets a little bright and viridian on that album again. Um, but otherwise, he's able to create like a really nice uh, sense of green by just contrasting that kind of gray, cool gray green against all the reds and pinks.